experience this air tour on South Miami Beach, you have to come to Miami Executive Airport. I booked this experience through booking.com but the only drawback is you have to minimum book it for two people. So it costed me around $160. As I was in the air, I could see these breathtaking views and the view you see below is my Miami port. If you don't know, Miami is the cruise capital of the world because it has maximum cruise going to and from Miami. So this is the Miami port and now you see Miami beach. Guys, it was serene from above. Finally, it was time to leave the skies and be back on the land and my pilot shot this beautiful time lapse for me. So this was end of my experience one in Miami. It is a little expensive but I think for once you can definitely explore this. After air tour, I came to this area called Brickell in Miami, which is very famous for shopping, dining and entertainment. I just spent rest of my evening here before I headed back to Fort Lauderdale. So guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing in Fort Lauderdale, because I'm staying in Fort Lauderdale and not Miami. If you have not seen the first part of this series, I will just paste the link in the description so you know. Hi guys from Florida. So today is Sunday and Sunday is supposed to be fun day. So I have planned a lot of things for Sunday. First of all, if you know, this place is very famous for alligators. So I'm going to Everglades Holiday Park, which is like must visit attraction here in Miami. So I'm going there and I'm going to see alligators. I'm not a fan, but I just want to experience it and see how it is and show you guys. And then I want to go back to Miami Beach because I loved it. So I just want to go there and uh, enjoy and have some nice time there and just have some beach time. So ready to go! So I have reached so you have a ticket from booking.com and then you have to show it here and they give you this wristband which have a token number so my token number is 28 which means I have to wait but it's very crowded and it's very touristy and I'm very excited to see the alligators Everglades Park is famous for these airboat tours where they take you on these airboats in batches and then they take you inside the water which is around a one hour trip and then you can actually see the alligators inside water.
most common form of plant life in the glades. Wherever you go in the glades, you're going to run into sawgrass. It's everywhere. It grows like wildfire. We're going to see it everywhere we go. We mention it because alligators love to hide in the sawgrass. They like to make their nests in the sawgrass too. But captain has a trick that they move real fast where they know that they can't spot any alligators and when they know there are alligators they just slow down the speed to reduce the volume of the boat and then they are just still and then we wait to spot alligators and I got real lucky as I found and spot some alligators on the trip which I have for you on the video and they are real ugly and scary. I also got to know that the difference between the alligators and crocodile is that alligators are found in fresh water and that's why Everglades has a lot of alligators and Florida has a lot of it. Gator show was also included in my ticket if you don't know what it is. It's a wrestling show with alligators and is performed by Gator's rescue team and apparently I got to know they have a very famous channel on YouTube where they show these wrestlings and they are trained for that and basically they are a Gator rescue team which rescue these alligators all around this region. Last trick is called the face-off, because if by chance I do mess up, uh, yeah. This is also going to show you exactly what a bachelor's degree in psychology is now worth. From the University of Massachusetts, anyway. My parents waste a lot of money on college. They don't really appreciate the fact that I make bad jokes about it in and out of kid. I'm 55 years old and my dad is still telling me to give him his money back. Trust me, that would never happen. Hey, you leaving? Your keys are on my desk. Can you wait? I left my jacket in the car. Mm -hmm. Last trick, no hero stuff. Oh, it's oh a, God. It's hey guys, I'm done with the experience. It was really a great experience. I literally holded an alligator, baby alligator though. Now heading to do the house. Oh. Guys, now I've come to South Beach of Miami, which is very famous. And this area is super cool. Turquoise blue water, it's literally green. We'll soon go inside. Guys, I'm loving it here. The sound of sea, I always love it. And the good part is this beach is not very crowded like Barcelona and other places and the vibe is different. Now so I'm like almost at almost four so it's not very very hot also. Time to leave the beach because I'm very hungry. I'll find something to eat now.
eating and shopping i was still not done with miami beach i wanted to visit 17th street as well because i had heard it's very nice trying to soak these views for one last time it was very beautiful i really enjoyed my stay here i hope you like the video whenever you watch it and whenever i make a video on this and see you soon keep watching bye